Hello, and welcome back to another Pen Talk. Thanks for tuning in. Um, it's August of 2019. I tend to look at months as some type of demarcation in my time frame. Uh, so August is I will buy no pens month. I tried to, I had one earlier this year, which I didn't follow 100%. I'm going to make a better effort this month. I just need to take a break. I need to stop buying every new pen that seems to come out there. But speaking of new pens that are out there, here we have three pens. The first one might be familiar. It's not the pen that I did the review on a few weeks ago, but it is the same pen, the same model. It's clear. And as I mentioned, that pen came in colors. So I got a purple one. And I got a purple one basically because it was under $5 US dollars delivered. And then I had previously ordered a green one, which has a different labeling on it not significantly different but it comes in different colors the Pai Lee one Pai Lee. so in, in all total you get like six different colors and here's some auctions that show that and here's some auctions that show the pricing and to me what's happened is this pen has been mass produced probably in extremely large numbers and put through many distribution channels and depending upon the distributor, the seller, their um, relationship to the factory or to Wing Sung. I'm not exactly certain how those transactions might occur. They might get a different volume price on the pen. And depending upon the profit margin that they want to eke out of their sale, they might have the pen at different pricing. I mean, the first pen I bought, I paid almost 12 US dollars for. So them quickly dropping to well under five dollars and occasionally under four dollars uh, that's very quick and something i didn't expect considering the quality and the build and, and everything of the pen when you do uh, a search like search for wing sung 3013 and you sort that on lowest price some things might pop up like 99 cent pens you got to be wary of uh people putting up auctions where the auction says it's for a particular item but when you go into the auction the low prices that are there are not necessarily the main item in the auction but something like a pouch or some other alternative or a different pen and if you're not careful you can get excited about the price and order something you don't want. So it pays to be a diligent shopper when you're online and, and I've always been a diligent shopper and so I've transferred that into my online buying and just pay attention and don't get too excited about being able to buy a $12 pen for a dollar. But sometimes you can so just keep an eye out. So one of the things that I just like about this pen is number one it has a decent weight to it. Number two, they put some uh, facets in it, which give it just a little bit of a different look. The resins are, are very well done. I don't find any uh, challenges or anything to indicate that they're injection molded and they haven't been properly cleaned or taken care of. And this is a nice purple. It's definitely... An interesting color and definitely one that works well with this design. I think this design works with a lot of different colors. Maybe we'll see more, maybe we won't. I mean, the factory just could have made a run of a few million of these and then moved on to other pens. So you don't know how long they'll last, but based on the fact that there's over 600 auctions on uh, eBay, my guess is this pen will be around for a while. And the pricing who knows may drop. I can't imagine dropping much below $4, but one can never tell. So when I did my first review on this, the one thing that I was not as happy about was the fact that it has a pilot design nib. Nice clear feed, that's nice. It picks up the 
color of the ink, but the Pilot Design nib is the one with these little feet on it, which it's a, it's a good design because it fits into one spot on the feed, so there's no challenge when you pull it in and out, making certain that the nib and feed are properly aligned and in the right place. But it's either in um, extra fine 0.38 or fine 0.5, and even the 0.5 one to me is a little on the fine side, so what else can you put in there? So I have this Pilot medium nib which is, we know from previous Wingsung pens, fits the feed very well. And to me, it's really a stub. It'd be interesting to see how this works in the pen. And I've always uh, enjoyed trying different types of nibs. So in my uh, experiences on eBay, I found a pilot style nib that was a Fude design. And that, again, fits the feed very well. So it'll be interesting to see how this nib works. I'm going to use the uh, one of these pens, and I'm going to swap nibs in and out. Let's find a suitable ink, and let's see how these nibs work. So I decided I was going to use the Paley pen, the green one, for my nib testing. One of the main differences is it only has a 013, they removed the 3, maybe save some money, and it has a different logo, not the Wing Sung logo. But other than that, the pen's identical, same nib, same feed, save everything. You know, it, it, it just is a nice quality pen, and I decided to first try the Pilot Medium, Yes, it's like a stub, but we'll see how it works. It certainly should give a different writing experience than the initial fine nib that was in there. My first impressions is I like it, but technically not my first impression. I originally tried to put a Pen BBS ink in here, Mentha Aquatica, which I've tried before and I've had issues with it in Pen BBS pens, and it didn't work well in this pen at all. So thankfully, it was easy to take this pen all apart, clean it out thoroughly empty out the original ink first, and then uh, put in the Lamy Green. So, kudos to Wing Sung for doing a design that is extremely practical in addition to being kind of uh, interesting in the vac filler. I also smoothed this nib a little bit. I've never been a fan of these Pilot nibs. I, have a, I bought a bunch of 78s just to to get nibs, so I got a, a broad one, a medium, fine, you know, that's what they came in, and the broad is just a bigger stub than this one. I also had to do some adjusting, and it may have been, I don't know where this nib has been or what I've done with it before I put it into this pen, but it didn't quite fit the feed properly, so I was getting a little bit of an extra ink flow. The other thing I noticed is it's better to write with this with the blind cap all the way down. They don't tell you to take it up to let ink flow and it doesn't appear to seal that top of the of the section but you know it's it's been closed for a while and I've continued to write and it's been fine so I would say that this first nib swap was a success but we need to compare it to the original fine that I got so this is the fine which is a 0 0.5 millimeter nib 
And even though I think I mentioned I thought this was too fine, I think it's good. And this is a Franklin Kristoff ink, so it, uh, not an ink I use a lot, but I think it flows well and it works well in this pen. And if you compare it to the medium nib, it actually looks a little wider. But that a lot has to do with the way that medium nib is cut. So overall, the original nib right now, to me, I enjoy this original nib more than I do that Pilot Medium. But we need to go one step further and put in the Fude. So I've swapped in this generic Fude nib, which I probably got from Bobby, but it's been a while. I haven't had a motivation to put it in, but I put it in this pen and so far so good. But let's show you how it writes. So one of the things about a Fude nib that I think is very good is based on the angle you can get what is about a medium or you can get to a broad or a little bit over a broad. Um, it works well and if you want a real fine line just flip it over. I think it's designed to write in reverse and every Fude nib that I've had has been a good reverse writer. So I'd say that's definitely an extra fine in reverse. So this gives uh, the pen a lot of character, lays down a lot of ink, is what you would expect. The feed keeps up fine, so kudos. So I'm glad I had an opportunity to actually put this Fude nib into a pen and put some ink on paper with it. I'm getting near the end of my pad, so writing degrades when I'm trying to do this over the tripod. I know some people will get upset about the writing, but hopefully you can gather from what you see and have a good idea of how this pen might work if it was in your hands. So, we've reached the end of this adventure. Hopefully you've um, enjoyed another look at a pen which I think is the current best deal on eBay. Comes in colors. And yeah, I'm not a fan of the Pilot Nibs. And it comes with a fine, and if that's not what you like, because it is a broad fine, you can always get the extra fine nib. That'll give you um, a line that's probably more similar to what is this reverse writing here. If we go up here, we'll see where we compared the original fine with the medium pilot and then we'll just do one more swipe here with the food a and you can see it's it's laying down a lot more ink and it's a, it's a broader line about twice as broad as the medium but the medium I think and the pilot is on the fine side of medium so we've reached the conclusion of this video so thank you for watching may have many great writing experiences and as you see the broader the nib and you try to make small letters and characters are going to run together so uh, these types of nibs encourage big writing may you have a, a wonderful experience putting ink on paper and whatever instrument you desire and whatever ink and paper you are using so this is the end of this video we're going to say bye for now. See you later.